Yo, what's going on YouTube? ACL Official back with a new video and in today's one I'm reviewing the MX1 Amiri jeans. Five years is all it took founder Mike Amiri to take his namesake brand from a one-man operation working out of a basement in LA to an internationally recognised label worn by celebrities and designer enthusiasts around the world. While the Amiri brand offers much more than just jeans, the popularity of the different styles of jeans produced by them has played a huge role in the growth of the brand. Like most high-end designer labels, the prices don't come cheap though, in most cases you're going to be paying upwards of £700 to pick up a pair of Amiri jeans and most sell for more than that. The tonal denim MX1s being reviewed in this video retail for €1,010 which is basically £900. Before I get into the details, shout out to the real notorious plug for sending in these Amiri jeans. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know about them already, but just in case you don't, check out the website notorious-plug.com and also the Instagram page at the real notorious plug. Good place to go if you're looking for some great designer deals. Everything sold in there is 100% authentic and there's loads of customer feedback you can view as well if you need further reassurance. Anyway, let's talk about these jeans now. So these are the Tonal Denim MX1 jeans in rough black. In hand, you can really feel the weight of them, which I personally like, because that always makes a product feel more premium, high quality. The texture is quite hard to describe. It almost feels a little wax, but I don't think it is. And it certainly doesn't look like it is, but it feels super nice either way. The jeans are made from Italian stretch denim and honestly the denim quality on these is really good. I usually have problems with jeans because my waist size is small relative to my thighs and even when buying stretchy or loose jeans my movement still feels a bit restricted. When I put these ones on though I don't feel restricted at all and they feel mad comfy as well so it's positives all round when it comes to fit. If you want a skinny tapered fit then go true to size but if you want a slightly more relaxed fit or if your legs are quite big then it's best to size up one which is what I've done here. In terms of appearance, there are a few main features, most notably pleated leather knee patches and hand distressed abrasions, both of which adds a little bit extra to the final look of the jeans. I'm not a huge fan of rips in jeans, especially the ones that leave entire holes showing, but I'm cool with ones like this where the hole is covered by detailing such as ribbed patches. The ribbed patches themselves look and feel well made. Towards the bottom of the jeans, you might also notice the stacked ankle effect, which is something that Amiri have purposely aimed to do. This allows for some slack at the bottom so the jeans aren't just tight all the way through and in my opinion it keeps the fit looking more natural as well. Apart from all that, the jeans also feature custom Amiri hardware, a signature leather patch on the back of the waistband and five pockets. Overall I rate these jeans highly and for me personally they tick a lot of boxes that I look for when shopping for jeans. The price is a bit mad but if you've got the budget for them I doubt you'll be disappointed. If you're looking for something cheaper then these won't be for you and you'd probably need to avoid the entire Amiri brand if that's your goal. Anyway, that's another review done. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you again on the next video.